What's up everyone, my name is Daryl and today's a special day. I'm gonna show you how you can decorate or customize your WooCommerce category pages, your WooCommerce product pages, and along with your post category pages as well with the Divi theme. Now by default, uh, Divi cannot edit those pages, so I'm gonna introduce you to a plugin and show you how this works. Now, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of what you can expect uh, from this plugin to see if you like these results. I'm pretty sure you will. So let's say, for instance, you're selling products, and I'll talk more about the post a little bit later, but let's just say, for example, you're selling products. Now, I have this yellow juice. Now, by default, when you're using the Divi theme and you click on a category, it reverts back to the original uh, category page that's created with WooCommerce. Now, if I click on this right here, my audience is now going to be redirected to a custom category page that I personally created. So right here, you can see this is a layout that I used from the original de developer. And this is my new category page. So now whenever someone clicks on a category page, they're not going to get that old default page. They're gonna get a page that looks like this. In fact, we can actually design everything we want from scratch. Now also this plugin will allow you to decorate your WooCommerce products. So for instance, right here, we have a, a test product and you can actually try this for free for 24 hours. So the developer is really cool about that. Uh, here you can add in like a button, you can add, you can switch this around, you can virtually change anything you want and they've just kind of given you different variations on what you can do with this right here. So right here you can see like a get it now, add to cart, and you can add that virtually anywhere you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a quick rundown as well and I'll also talk a little bit later about how you can actually use a, um, I'm gonna give you a resource on how you can change your blog post with Divi. So right here you can see this page, this is actually a custom page or a custom category page with the Divi theme. So I'll talk more about that a little bit later. Now the plugin that I used was called the Divi Kingdom. Now there is a link in the description below, or not Divi Kingdom, Divi Kingdom is the name of the company. The, comp the, the, the plugin is called WC Product Builder. Now the reason why I'm, I'm introducing this now more than later before is because the designer or the developer recently introduced some news that they can now actually have an archive builder and they're uh, adding more stuff in. So uh, if you look at the comments right here, the developer is talking about how they can start decorating the account page, the registration page, the checkout page, all of that really cool stuff. So the designer is really working towards that. Now this is in beta right now. So you can actually get this by purchasing the original WooCommerce product uh, builder and then eventually, or in your in your, um, in your your account, it's going to appear but as a beta, but it will be released eventually. I think it's already ready to go because uh, I've used it and I'm just like, wow, this is great. So right here is my WooCommerce product one website. Now, if you wanna get access to that, you can actually go over here to his page right here and he actually tells you where to go. So I'll leave the link to the description below if you decide to check this out. It is a plugin. Now let me just uh, show you the, the back end of the plugin to show you how this works and everything. So going back over here to my dashboard, I've already installed the plugin. Again, it's called WooCommerce Product Builder. And right here, it's WooCommerce Product Builder. Now, right here we have General and Archive Builder. So I'm just gonna click on General right here. Now right here, we can go ahead and use certain specific uh, pages for certain specific categories. So right here I have yellow juices, green juices, and then uncategories as well. And then right here, we can go ahead and make the rows display full width because sometimes they display 80% only, but uh, this plugin will allow you to extend it 100%. And then right here, you can actually have a general default layout, which will basically override everything else. Now over here on the archive right here, so the default categories layout. So right here, I actually created one called the product archive page as well. And then you can also have one for the tags as well. So let's say you want to have a specific page just for the tags, which which you might wanna do, you know, it, it depends depending on how picky you are with your website or if your client needs it, you can go ahead and create your own page and then activate it right there. So right here I click on save changes. Now right here we have archive builder. So this is just for the archives. Now you can also do this for the product pages as well. So these right here are for like the, the product layouts as well. So you can go ahead and, and create those as you if you want. But right now we're focusing more on the archive builder because the, de the developer already knows how to change the, um, the product. So I'll talk more about that a little bit later. But uh, right here we have the archive uh, product page. Now if I click on edit right here, we can actually start to edit this. And in fact, they've introduced certain modules right here. Now we can only use the backend builder for this. We cannot use the visual builder just yet, but the designer has says that he is working on that. So that should be coming soon. So there are some different modules. So right here, there's WooCommerce archive products, which are like the basic products for the category. And then here, I'll click on insert module just to kind of introduce you all to this. Now you actually get this layout for free when you actually uh, use the beta. So right here you have a WooCommerce add to cart button, the archive product description, the category cover, 
the breadcrumbs. So you know how like there's like little breadcrumbs you can see on the products and the WooCommerce archive uh, products and then the Boo page title. Now, all these right here are for the specific products. Now, some of these are for the archive builder and some of these are for the WooCommerce product builder as well. But you can kind of mix and match and kind of get uh, kind of understand which one's being used. Like, for example, the add to cart is obviously for the product builder. But right here are just some interesting models that you can actually start to add and then starts to build your page from scratch. So right here, you can see that I just added a, a category. We added some blurbs. Right here, we have some text. And then right here below that, we added the WooCommerce archive products, which are the products for that specific category. And then right here, we added some text and a contact form and a social media follow. Now, I'm not going to go too far into all of these right here because... These are just basically modules and uh, most of you that are using this know how to use the Divi Builder. So I'm not going to like go uh, too much in, into the Divi Builder. But if you want to add something right here, we just click on like um, right here. I'll just click on insert module and then, um, you know, I'll make this like really ugly. Just to give you an example here, I'll put in a circle counter and then I'll put in circle counter. Ugh, I can't spell. I'll put in like 100. All right, and now I'll just display this above my archive products and then click on update. So now when I go back to that page, it's going to have a text, a circle counter, and just a product archive page. It's pretty it's pretty basic, pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure most of you know that. But going back over here to our, um, our uh, I'll, I'll just go to our products right here and just give you an example. So right here, yellow juice. All right, there we go. And then right here, we now have that circle counter right there as well. And then we have our products right there. So you can start displaying your category how you want it to look. So I just thought this was a great plugin. Again, if they give me a coupon code for it, I will put it in the link in the description or I'll put it in the description below if they decide to. But um, I know that the the category page is probably one of it's a weakness, not just among Divi. It's a it's a weakness among most themes out there. Uh, most themes out there, they're very um, incompatible with decorating the category pages. So uh, be sure to check out the WooCommerce product builder. Again, you can actually get up to eight demos as well with these demos right here. So you can actually go ahead and check out some of their demos right here they've made. And I actually used this once before on a client's website. So it's it's very helpful because you can now decorate the, the product page. Like this right here is a product page. And then you can also change the category pages. So that's going to solve all of your problems with the Divi theme as far as e-commerce goes because this plugin right here just takes over everything. And it, it, it's it's an amazing plugin. And uh, be sure to check out this developer because he actually has really good reviews. You know, he has 38 positive reviews. So you know it's a stable plugin that's really good. And you also get a free trial. You Remember, you can always go ahead and try it. I will put that link also in the description below. Now let's talk about the WooCommerce post types. So let's go over here. We have posts. Now, right here, I'm going to go and take a look at one of my posts right here. And what you notice right here is when you click on news right here, you can't edit this page. And that can be very frustrating because by default, maybe you don't want it to look like this. Maybe you want to go ahead and add in something a little bit more customizable. Now, there was a blog post by this website called brandedbybrit.co. And they actually have a visual GIF files of what you can do and what CSS to add. So right here, I, I was just looking at all of her files or all of her images, and I was going to make a, a tutorial on this, but I figured she's pretty much on point right here, and she shows you exactly what you have to do in order to get a custom uh, blog page. And looking at the overall results, I was just I was just stunned because she had some really nice stuff. She shows you how to do it step by step, and this right here is a great example of a custom post type page that was created with the Divi Builder. So she does go ahead and tell you what CSS you need and what to add. And then she talks about how to how you can create your own header. She's very thorough. Now, I was going to do it myself, but she is so thorough. And I saw this article. It was so good. I says, you know, I should really just start directing people to her website because she tells you how to do it. Um, most of it's free. You do need a, a plugin for it that will redirect it. But you can just go ahead and get that in the WooCommerce. Or I'm sorry, in the um, the WordPress depository for free. So be sure to check out this website. I thought it was a great blog post by her. And if you want to create custom uh, category pages with the, the blog page, uh, this is how you do it. So make sure to check out this website. Now, I hope this video was helpful. If you have experience with this plugin or if you want to know more about it, uh, leave me a, a comment below. Let me know what you think. You can also have a free trial. So and also the beta as well. You can actually test that out for free because this was recent. They introduced this. This was 
uh, just a few days ago, I got an email from them and I thought this was an amazing plugin for the Divi theme. So make sure to like this video, make sure to share it and let me know what experiences that you have with these plugins below and other experiences with Divi, all right? So I will see you all in the next video.